Hey, this is Pete Hink. This is my forecast for blue-green algae and red algae, known as red tide, for 2020. It's not going to look good, I'm afraid. I've talked to Mike Connors, and he is the head of the Indian River Keepers, and he's already seeing algae building up at Fort Mayaka over there in Lake Okeechobee. Good news is water tables are low, and they're not releasing any water toward... Um, Stewart area or over in the west coast. It's very early in the year to have you know, the algae starting to bloom over in Lake Okeechobee. But the water has got so many nutrients in it right now. And the water table's low and the extra heat is adding to it. So it's starting an early bloom. Now, tell you a little bit about the algae blooms and why they form. They form because all the nutrients are in the water. And Mother Nature's way of cleaning up the nutrients in the water is plant life. Some people call it weeds, aquatic weeds. But in areas where you have a lot of nutrient water, you're going to have a lot more weeds growing. So an area, a lake that you had a few years ago that only had a little bit of weeds in it, let's call it, let's call it weeds, but it's, it's aquatic plant life, now has, is getting covered up with it because the nutrients in the water. It's real simple. So what has happened is Mother Nature is purifying the water with these weeds. They absorbed all the nutrients out of the water as much as they can and then the water passes on. It's a filter system. But what we're doing, we're spraying. And every year it seems more and more we spray and we're killing the plant life along in the lakes, in the canals, along the banks. That is killing the filter, the filter system that Mother Nature has to purify the water. So once you kill these plants, these plants decay, they go down to the bottom. All the nutrients that they've taken in gets re-released into the water. Now you got all this nutrient water, you got no plant life to absorb it. So Mother Nature goes to plant two. Okay, that's algae. The algae starts feeding on it and there is a ton of food for them to eat. So if you have a lake it's, and it fills up with weeds because your nutrient level is so high, once you reduce or eliminate the nutrients going into it, the weeds will slowly die off because there's nothing for them to eat in the water. There's got to be some nutri nutrition for them to feed on. So when you spray everything down, you kill everything, all that's left is the algae. So the algae starts to grow, the blue-green algae, and there's other algae also, but the blue-green is the poison one. And then we get the rains and it flushes it out toward your coastal areas. And there's where you get problems. People get sick, dogs get sick, animals, all kinds of animals get sick. And we know about people, we know about animals, but think about all the wildlife that don't have a choice. The deer, you know, the turkeys, the ducks, the waterfowl, and the, uh, the fish it does affect them also. So you get a heavy rain, it washes all that algae out, and especially on the west coast where you got the slinny just right, the blue-green algae will finally get out into the salt water and it'll eventually kill it, And but still all the nutrients are there and that's where the red tide moves in. The red algae, it just feeds like crazy on this stuff and you have these massive red tide fish kills they kill dolphins, manatees, and it does kill people also. So you have that. And we're setting up the perfect storm for it this year. The low water table means basically we're still putting nutrients into these canals and lakes and everything, but they're not going anywhere. They're sitting in there and they're building up and building up and building up. Okay, the weeds and call it weeds, aquatic plant life tries to grow, we spray, we kill it all, okay? And now the nutrients get released back in the water. The only thing left is the algae, and the algae is going to bloom. We get rainy season, those algae are going to get flushed out. So it's not a pretty picture. So let's get to what we can do to solve the problem. First, understand what the problem is. Is it the algae? Is it the weeds? No. It's all the nutrients that we're putting into the water, whether it be fertilizers, over-fertilizing, it'd be farm from farm fields, cane fields, it could be from sewers, it could be from cattle fields. All that adds to it, but we need to reduce it 
to a point where Mother Nature can filter it through weeds. Guess what? If the lake fills up with the weeds all the way, well, it needs to be that way. Okay? Once the nutrition, once the once it takes all of the uh, nutrients out of the water, the weeds will slowly die off. It's simple math, but for 2020, I don't look for a good year as far as water quality. Look at the lake behind me. This lake's been here 40 years or so. Yeah, there's a bunch of weeds around my my yard. I mean, you look out in some areas, it goes out 20 feet or so. But if you look in these weeds, it's not just weeds. These weeds are holding fish. You know, they're holding a bunch of baby, baby fish. They've got ducks in there. There is uh, bass in there. Um, you see all kinds of bird life, all kinds of wildlife nesting along the shoreline. And it's a nursery area for all these, this, these, these animals. And when you spray it and you kill it, and you got a lake that's just got nothing but grass right to the lake, and then you got nothing but sand, there's nothing there for the wildlife. There's nothing there to help them. So it's not a good thing to spray the weeds. You know, let Mother Nature clean the water. Give her what she needs to do it. She'll do a better job than we could ever do. Okay, and if she needs to fill, fill the lakes up with weeds, so be it. This is where we're going to. Otherwise, we have to deal with the red tide and the blue-green algaes because there's nothing there to control it. We've done killed the filters. So, my little rant. Anyway, I'm not looking for a good year as far as the, uh, the algaes and the red tide. Let's keep fighting. That's all we can do is just keep fighting and put more science behind it, do what's right. we we got to fix this problem before it's too late. Till next time, this is Pete Hink. We'll see you.